How's it going all? My name's Alex and you're watching Alex's Vision. In today's video, it's a nice brisky morning down here at Port Adelaide and we're chasing uh, salmon trout. They've been in a huge abundance recently so I don't think we'll have a problem trying to catch them. We've got this little uh, three inch minnow type lure tied on with a slightly heavier jig head just because the wind's coming into our face at the moment. It's a bit overcast at the moment but hopefully we can get onto some and uh, get some underwater footage. I've got a new toy, so stay tuned for some sweet footage. I'll get that out later if we do get onto any. But um, yeah, hopefully we get onto a few. All right, so first cast of the day. I'm just gonna start retrieving it fast because it's not too deep down here, but there's a nice drop off and um, that's where I'm hoping the salmon trout are gonna be sitting. So just a nice constant wind and a few twitches in the rod tip, just to imitate those bait fish that are kicking around out there. So nothing on first cast. Let's just keep casting until we hook up. Once we hook up, I guarantee there will be a few more behind them. So keep casting. Yep, there's the first fish of the day. That was on fourth cast, I reckon. And uh, it's a nice little trouty. Uh, I shouldn't say nice, he's on the small side, but we aren't gonna get much bigger than that in the Port River. I reckon they're just on legal, but today we're doing a catch and release session just to get some footage for you guys. I'm trying to post the video every Friday, but it's a bit hard with the coronavirus, obviously, because Long distance travel is um, a hazard, but that was one fish. Let's give it another cast in the same spot. I reckon there's going to be a few more behind him. Nothing on that cast. When there's no action in one spot, we're just going to keep walking maybe 10 meters down and then fan cast the area just to uh, cover the ground because usually salmon trout are moving fish. You can stay in the one spot and you will expect them eventually, but I'm just gonna keep moving, maybe find a constant school. And I do apologize about the wind because it is pretty breezy at the moment. You're probably struggling to hear me. All right, what I'm gonna do is switch lures to a surface lure. I'm just gonna chuck a little stick bait on just to um, fire them up on the surface. I'm not expecting fish, but we'll see what happens. See if they're hitting surface this morning. Because it is a bit choppy. They might struggle to see it, but with a bit of turbulence on the water, I'm sure they're bound to uh, see it. All right, so what I've got here, it's just a little stick bait. It's floating, but we're gonna retrieve it on the top see if there's any action on the surface. Oh, first cast and we've got some surface takers. Oh, only a little guy, he just fell off. All right, second cast. Just doing a fast retrieve on the top there. It's awesome fun watching surface takes because it's pretty much all visual. They must have just moved off because uh, first cast with it, I had heaps of hits and now nothing. So we didn't get many salmon trout here at the port, but I reckon I'll make a move to West Lakes or something um, to see if we can get some bigger fish. I'm gonna keep the stick bait on so that we can get some surface activity 
we might even get a few brim if we're lucky but um, stay tuned and in the next scene you'll see me at West Lakes so don't run away guys all right guys so we've arrived at West Lakes it's about 9 a.m. in the morning and uh, I reckon there's still time to chuck surface lures. So I'm gonna chuck some surface lures until about 10 a.m. That's usually when they slow down on the surface bite. Um, and then we'll maybe chuck some double clutches, which are those hard bodies that imitate minnows. Fingers crossed we get onto a few, but it's a lot calmer here, a little bit more sheltered from the wind. So hopefully we can gather some cool footage and uh, I get to try out the new toy. So stay tuned guys. So what I'm doing is just walking along the steps here and because it's a surface lure you can only go so deep it only dives maybe 20 oh not even 10 centimeters deep and uh, I'm working these steps here where the brim should be feeding oh I just had a swirl guys yep still getting swelled I reckon they're just brim they didn't look overly big but I did have a couple of swirls, so it's good to see that they're still hitting surface. Get it straight back out there. So I just had a few hits there, see if they're still around. It happened when those people walked past, so didn't want to talk because it seems like I'm crazy talking to myself. <laughs> Hopefully they're still around. Because they had a swipe about three times, whatever it was. All right, so we're on a beach here. Usually beach means flats out there. As you just saw there, there was a ripple. There's fish sitting up on these flats feeding, usually digging for worms or shrimp. So I've got my surface lure and I'm just working these flats, hoping for a nice brim. Oh, just had a nice swell, yep. Couple of nice swells there. Hook up rate on surface lures aren't that great but it's more just the thrill of them hitting it that gets the blood flowing. All right guys, so didn't get much activity on the surface lure, but I reckon it's because of all the people walking this morning. It's probably spooked all the brim out into deeper water. So what I'm gonna do is retie a double clutch. That's what the double clutches are. Just a minnow type lure by Daiwa. They've got super sharp trebles as well. But before I do that, I'm just going to switch to four pound leader because I believe I had six pound leader tied on, but I'm just going to chuck four pound leader on just to uh, make it a little bit more invisible underwater because brim can be cunning fish. And if they do see leader, they won't hit the lure because it's uh, something suspicious to them. So let's cut that old leader off. and make sure you throw that out. Don't leave it lying around. I'm just gonna chuck it there for now, but I'll chuck it in my bag afterwards. What I'm using is just four pound Vanish, Berkeley Vanish leader. And I'm just gonna tie it on with an Albright knot. That's my favorite light tackle knot to use. It's not the best knot. FG knots would be a lot better, but I struggle to tie FGs with light line because they always slip but it's as simple as turning it around the loop and then back over itself, maybe six or seven times. Like that. And as simple as threading the braid straight through the loop again. And then just pull the tag ends as well as your main lines tight. Give it a little lick just so that it slides together a lot easier. As simple as that. And now just cut the tag ends off and you've got yourself a nice leader knot. So it's worth practicing.
practicing these knots guys rather than using a swivel straight to uh, your leader because um, even Brim can see the swivel just like that it's almost invisible to the eye and now to tie the lure on just using a basic blood knot for the lure just like that and that's ready to go so we'll pack everything up don't forget the line as well and make a move hopefully they're still biting See the size of the salmon. Oh my goodness. That was a horse. I don't know what to say about that. Sorry about the swearing. That was one of the biggest salmon I've ever seen in my life. That was a good 80 centimeters, if not 90. I'm not sure if the camera picked it up, guys. Oh got polarized sunny so you probably won't be able to see it but he followed my lure right up to the steps that was enormous I'm not even exaggerating guys that fish was huge and I know the water magnifies fish but I'm telling you guys I've seen big salmon in the lake and that would have been one of them Oh my goodness. I wish I I wish he took my lure. But he followed it right into the steps and it was a fast fish. I thought it was a mulloway at first. One day I'll get him. Alright, so that salmon has got me stumped. I'm gonna chuck on a slim swims just to uh, get it down a bit deeper. Gonna take that off. Get the slim swims out. Hopefully we can find a few more salmon. All right, let's do this. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna apply some scent onto the lure, because I've had so many follows from fish, but they're not biting. I reckon a little bit of scent will entice them to bite. So I've just got S Factor here. This one's the UV enhanced one. So I've got S Factor, just spread it around to make that lure smell natural. Hopefully we can get a bite now. Today's salmon trout session has turned into a brim session. And now, now that I've seen that big salmon, it's turned back to a salmon session. So I'm just going to focus on catching salmon now and hopefully find a few big ones but at the moment I've just had so many follows can't get a good hook up so we'll keep trying and hopefully something grabs it but at the moment it doesn't look like this content is going to be very great because I'm lacking a lot of fish and it's been like that recently in Adelaide we'll see we've still got a couple of hours All right, I haven't had a hit for a long time, so I'm gonna turn off the GoPro and uh, hopefully turn it back on when I hook up. I wanna conserve the battery of the GoPro. It's my second battery and uh, it's probably about half full now. So I'll see you when I hook up, guys. Finally hooked up to a little trouty. There it is. I hope you enjoyed that underwater footage. That's the new toy.
Well, we finally got a little salmon trout from the lake. Hope you enjoyed that bubble footage. That's the new toy I've uh, bought. And now I reckon I need a new GoPro. And that way I can use both the 50-50 lens and the head camera lens. But for now, I've only got one GoPro. There'll be lots of very good future footage. Thanks for watching today's video, everyone. It was a slow day, but we got onto a couple of salmon trout. It was a pretty poor effort. I reckon I'm losing my touch, but we gave it a good crack, saw a massive salmon and uh, had plenty of follows, but they just weren't picking it today. So stay tuned for next week's video. Hopefully it's something a lot better, but I've got that 50-50 lens now so we can take some epic footage. Stay tuned guys.